Hey guys and girls, I just wanted to uh, do a little quick video about how to hang ceiling drywall by yourself. And that's right, I said by myself. So, as you can see along this edge here, I've just fastened a piece of steel track and you can use wood studs, steel studs, plywood, anything that you can fasten on there uh, to support the edge. So basically you just lift the drywall and you slide it into there and this track holds. And I've left myself a little bit of a gap, probably did it at about three quarters of an inch, maybe just under. This way it allows you to actually feed that board in. And then as you can see, holding up this board right now really is no more than probably five screws. Everything's supported. Make sure that you have your drill ready. I like these small drills. This one happens to be a Milwaukee. Have the fastener ready. So that way when you throw your sheet up, all you have to do is just reach for your hip, pull that out, jam a couple of screws in there, and you're good to go. And as you can see here, I've used resilient track. I've insulated the crap out of it. And that, that resilient track is on two foot centers. If you read the uh, building code, the Ontario building code in this case, putting that resilient on two foot on center uh, gets you a better STC rating or sound transmission class rating than uh, if it was on 16s. Drywall, typically ceiling board is hung on two foot centers anyways, because that's what your trusses are spaced at. So really there's no difference in doing it on two foot centers. Depending on the size of the room, you'll actually save a little bit of material. So it's all good. Um, just want to mention that this is the ultralight board. So it is a little bit lighter than some of the other drywall products. Um, the screws that I'm using, so they're a self-tapping screw. And uh, they seem to be working well. You can also use just your standard standard fine thread uh, inch, inch and a quarter drywall screw. They'll work just fine too. So I'm going to continue putting up these boards by myself. This board, I will mention, was not uh, a full 8 foot sheet. It was cut down to 85, 85 inches. So yeah, there's a little bit of weight savings there, but not much. And I intend on doing the rest of this room the same way. Eight foot sheets. Have them going this way here. And uh, we should be good to go. You can see all the back framing that I've done, bulkheads, everything. So we're ready to go. So if you guys like my video and found it handy, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Constructive criticism, always welcome. Until the next video, see you later guys.